Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Welcome back to another Pro 1v1 match. Today, we are on a bit of a different map and we have Boyka back as well. So down in the south of Gold Cobra, we have Fargo with the blue jelly vanilla. And then all the way up the north, we'll introduce the map in a second, but it is called Gold Cobra. We have Boyka with the red, the USA. Yeah, USA. So yeah, we actually haven't seen too much of Boyka lately. Uh, I think one of the main reasons is he's kind of settling down now. He's growing up and uh, he's getting a uh, he's getting himself a wife. He's actually getting married. Uh, I th don't know if they've set a date or or if they actually got married already. I don't think they're married already, but I think he's got a date lined up, which means uh, there was a recent poll on the forums saying who which of the experts will be a uh, <laughs> will be a, only a semi-level player by the end of the year or by October, which is the the planned month when the World Series 2022 will start. By the way, um, and I th I voted for Boyka becoming uh, becoming a semi-level player <laughs> from an expert because uh, we've already seen him since he got a girlfriend his level definitely dropped off. Obviously, in was it 2020 when he actually won the World Series against Excal in the finals? That was probably when he was at probably one of his strongest ever. He also defeated Vivid then in the semifinals. But then, as of like the last year or maybe even year and a year and a half, his levels kind of dropped off a hell of a lot. But um, he is back here today. This is a replay from just a couple of days ago, and he's facing it off against Fargo. So if he's able to pull off some wins here, they did play a few games. This is just one of the games. It will be a shorter match. This particular replay, as you can see from the length of the video. Got a technical coming in from Fargo. Is a TNT. Kills his own technical, but does take down the firebase. Probably could say that's worth it. Technical and two terrorists. Does bring in a massive tech RPG push now, but is a little bit too close to all of these vehicles. And some RPGs get crushed, but saying that, every vehicle there of Boyka has gone down as well. So that includes one dozer, five aces already gone down, and two Vs, and probably these missile defenders are going to get picked off as well just by these RPGs as well. Uh, Boyka knows that's by USA. On his planet, his prime at least. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see if that includes, uh, that includes now today as well. But yeah, he, he's very familiar. He knows... He knows to build the fire bases back at home and then push out with your key amount of Vs, which is probably about now, with an ambulance, push out across the map and close down the arms. He knows he knows how to play it. He knows what to do. Um, but is Fargo just going to be a little bit too strong for him at the moment? He's been spamming a hell of a lot, obviously, against size. Fargo's got inside of this bunker. He's expanded to a third about the time you exactly need to as the GLA as well. Plus an in initial good bit of damage i suppose it's not amazing he's done no economic damage but he did take down two v's a couple of missile defenders and the dozer and the five ace here comes the tnt from fargo and almost gets the supply probably pretty annoyed about that i think it only probably survived because the dozer was there repairing it straight away which by the way pro tip if you're ever getting tnt like that make sure you've got your dozer and click on the supply to repair it as soon as you can or you could just not want to move out without an ambulance that is exactly why. That V may have gone down anyway, but at least you've got a better chance of holding a position if you do move out with that ambulance. So Boyka's going to try and push out now. And knowing that this replay isn't the most gigantic in the in the world. It's only 85 kilobytes today. A nice little short one. Uh, yeah, it's either going to be made, made or, or not made. Or What did I say? Make it or break it? Yeah, made or broken. <laughs> <laughs> in this next minute. Either these Vs are going to get to the arms dealer and cause significant damage, or Boyker is just going to lose this entire army. Fargo's got a stealth tunnel there, something that some players do like to do, big size being one of them. In the hope that your um, Vs will run into a stealth tunnel by mistake and you'll lose a load. Here comes the TNT from Fargo, something that we've seen from Fargo in recent replays where he'll just continually do TNTs all the way through. He's even got himself a second arms dealer. All the way up here rather than actually down here. So if he does lose this main base actually, which we may find out in the next few minutes if that's going to happen or not, then at least he's got some area to kind of fall back to. And it's important to note actually the Vs are not going to have the most amazing time fighting on these kind of hills like that. They're going to they're gonna struggle. Missile defenders will actually hit the terrain rather than actually hitting their target. 
But this is the key moment. Oh, Fargo gets inside that bunker. May not seem like a massive d detail, but it has kept them Vs busy now. And I thought Fargo was actually going to pounce on it whilst the Vs were distracted there with the fire. So here it comes. This is going to be the be-all and end-all. Is Boyka going to be able to close down these technicals with superior micro? Or is he just going to get wrapped around? It's going to be decided by literally one click of the mouse. Fargo could just wipe all of these out. Or he could uh, he could also struggle if the, if the Vs are microed uh, um, expertly, let's say. That supply did get remade. Boyka's also collecting from the middle. And his combat dropped this building. Did see Boyka in the last couple of days. Did play a few other games against other players as well. And uh, not that high level competition. But he has been playing. I don't know if he's found himself some free time or not. But yeah, we haven't seen a hell of a lot of him. He is bringing loads more Vs, by the way. And he's continually combat dropping. I think he's playing pretty well, to be honest. The only Vs that he lost, really, was that, was that big attack initially from Fargo. Apart from that... Yeah, I, th I think that's the fourth V in the game to go down. But Fargo is struggling to deal with this. Boyka, nice laser lock here. This building is being heavily focused. Instant laser locks here from Boyka. He's not messing around. He's clearly had his coffee, which he does, uh, does sometimes do before big games. He'll drink tons of coffee. And Fargo seemingly going for a counterattack. Wrong time to probably bring the Toxin Tractor because there is a lot of these here. And Fargo fighting these Vs. He's only picked off, I think, apart from the initial tech RPG push, in terms of just the empty technicals, he's only managed to pick off two Vs so far, which is why the numbers here are getting huge. And that the larger that army gets and the smaller that gets, goes without saying that it's going to be more and more difficult as time goes by. Here comes the TNT from Fargo, and I have a feeling, you know, Fargo is going to suffer a defeat here. Boyka's just V preservation and his base preservation has been too much. Fargo, yeah, he was going for another TNT, as we quite rightly pointed out before. He does like to go for them TNTs continually through the game. Boyka's hovering a Chinook over and picking up the uh, picking up the Dozer every now and again. Ooh. Like, losing every single technical here is adding up. I know he's making more, but once that strat's up, there's going to be absolutely no chance. Fargo doesn't really have an answer for this. Gonna go in for a counter-attack. Boyka does have a lot of missile defenders here, but is laser locking just one technical? That's bad micro. Even though it looked cool. Ah, uh, Boyka just wins. A little bit anticlimactic, but uh some I know some of you do like these short short videos, short replays. Not every one of them is gonna be gigantic, like the, the one hour GLA mirrors that we get sometimes. But that was actually a good performance from Boyka. I thought after the opening attack there from Fargo, like his first attack killed the firebase. Which was worth it, because that technical and two terrorists cost $900, whereas the fire base cost 1000 But any damage you can do to the USA in the beginning, even if you're trading off units, you probably will take it, because you're trying to keep the USA as small as possible, so the GLA can expand behind it and take control of the map. And that's kind of what Fargo was doing. So yeah, his first, one, his first attack took out the fire base, his second attack took out a dozer, a few missile defenders and two Vs, which actually was pretty good as well. But then from that... Because he kind of wasted them. Well, not, not wasted them first few units, but they sacrificed. His units weren't actually that big behind it. So when he did expand to that third and drop down a few tunnels, he didn't have actually that much firepower to keep going. But I think sometimes that's where you've got to do like distraction techs, keep Boyka running around. Maybe you can squeeze out another tech RPG and just do some harassment just to keep him as busy as possible. Or maybe Fargo should have just preserved those first few units better. Or maybe he should have just kind of mustered some better defense because actually when Boyka pushed through that little opening on the left side by Fargo's base and grabbed himself that garrison, I think he should have pounced then when the Vs were actually distracted by hitting the garrison with the RPG inside of it. Then he could have pounced and maybe took out two Vs and sent Boyka all the way back home, in which case then Fargo can muster some kind of defense. Uh, otherwise, just drop down more and more tunnels and try and defend with RPGs. But, um, yeah, you, you're seeing Boyka kind of like his old, old self there, whereas USA is actually is actually pretty good. He loses very, very few units. I think we counted, what, four Vs died in total? And in the end, there was just, like, 20. <laughs> and Fargo couldn't do anything about it. 
So yeah, anyway, let me know what you thought. Listen in the comments, GG, well played, and see you in the next one.